folks, this is Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and you're watching WGS TV. Tough guy. And we're back to Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy here on WGS TV on the Wrestle Gamer Double B Bully Pucho. And uh, if you guys have been uh, following along the past two installments, I've been getting thoroughly thrashed first by Cyrus Truesdale, and now we're, we're in the middle of a duel with uh, Chumley Huffington here, uh, which doesn't seem to be going too well. But what I'm going to do here is I, I do have a way to uh, turn it around as I summon UF Turtle and UFO Turtle in attack mode. And I will activate Salamandra. And Salamandra will give my fire type monster UFO Turtle 700 more tech points. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter the battle phase here. And let's see, I'll, I'll probably attack his Frenzy Panda. 900 points of damage after he massacred about 6,000 of my life points and about three fucking turns. Alright, now it's gonna now it's gonna go straight to defense. Well I have a negate attack I can keep handy here by keeping that face down. Can, uh, I can't really use monster reincarnation right now. Cause I don't have any monster cards in my graveyard. So what I will do is I will enter my battle phase and I will attack that monster because if I do remember correctly he does have some flip effect monsters in his deck. Who says licious anyway? I don't. Let's see what he does now. He puts another monster face down and puts another card face down. Well, we'll go ahead and set this down. That'll be handy for dealing extra damage if and when needed. So let's go ahead and enter the battle phase here. And yeah, I don't need to see the detail screen. I push the wrong button. And I guess eeny meeny miny mo. If you catch a tiger by itself, if he hollers, let him go. Eeny meeny miny mo. Let's see what we'll get here. And oh, nimble mamanga. I remember now, he had, whenever that card gets destroyed, uh, as you can see here, he gains a thousand life points. And he gets to summon another one straight from his deck. So that's a good, that's a kind of a good defensive strategy, if you think about it. Uh, no, because I want to keep my monster on the field, I will not sacrifice it. Oh, I'd be an idiot. Oh, card destruction, you bitch. No, I will not chain it. But now I lost Legendary Flame Lord. No, I will not activate the card. See, whenever you have a trap card like that, where it can be chained with anything, it just gets kind of annoying. See, yeah, because now we got to see that fucking thing for a good deal. Yeah, let's see, what, what did we get here? Special Hurricane, I'm not familiar with that. See, special we're getting discard one card from the end, destroy all special summon monsters on the field. Man, not, not a bad card to use. So you have Inferno here, and there's that Magician of Faith I was talking about earlier on the last installment. Tell me what it could do. Uh, right, let's put, let's set this one face down because you, you, he set a monster? Act I mean, yeah, that's just bad grammar right there. You, you, he said a monster. That's just, I, I don't understand that. But anyway, let's go ahead and en enter the battle phase here. Let's just go ahead and attack this one here. I declare an attack. I don't want to do it. Well, Death Wombat. I'm trying to remember what, what, what its effect is. And apparently he doesn't have one. So we'll go ahead and end the turn. I know I'm going to be... And that dialogue box is really going to bug the fuck out of me for the rest of this duel. 
Don Quieto, the Cure Master. Oh, he's gonna gain some life, life points. I will not chain it. Stop. God, it's gonna ask me for every fucking thing. Ultimate Baseball Kid? Oh, why did I set that? What's his effect? Sorry, I just want to read what his effect is. Increase the attack of this card by 1,000 points from each fire monster in field other than this card. Oh, uh, I had a fire monster right here. Alright, well, let's go ahead and... Wait, hold on, I forgot. Nothing can I do with this. Does the monster have to be f uh, face up? Okay, regardless of its positions, okay. Alright, let's go ahead and flip summon this one. Let's destroy his monster here. I'm not gonna chain it, so stop fucking asking me. Alright, let's go to the battle phase. Let's see, UFO turtle, UFO turtle will attack. No, and it's of course Nimble Mamonga again. I think that might be number two, if I'm not mistaken. He still gains a thousand life points. No, I will not chain. And of course now I'll have uh, Man Eater Bug attack him directly. No. And now I will end the turn. <sighs> See, I think must have seen that dialogue box about a hundred times already. I know you're probably wondering, you know, you know, why is he gonna do this, but you know, let's take another card in case I need it. It's gonna give him a, a thousand more life points, and I'm gonna get Charcoal and Punchy again. So let's go ahead and summon Darkfire Soldier number one. I will not activate an effect. And let's flip summon Ultimate Baseball Kid because of its effect. For every other fire monster that's on the field, this gets a thousand attack points. So let's go ahead and enter the battle fails here. Alright, let's start off with Baseball Kid. Oh, you know what? Let's start off with Darkfire uh, Soldier number one. Let's see if we can use him to get rid of that monster. What does he have there? Oh, he's got a man eater bug, you bitch! Watch, it's gonna go after my ultimate Baseball Kid. Can I chain it? Can I chain it? Can I chain it? Alright, I'll go ahead and use... So I can at least do some damage to him. Right, what do you have there? Seven tools of the bandit. Ah! Not a bad chain. Not a bad chain. Hang on, I still have two monsters left I can attack him directly with. Alright, again, I apologize about that one. As the UFO turtle will now take 2100 of his life points away from him. And in turn, I'll probably have time for one more turn. One more turn um, on this. This video, I can't believe we dedicated a whole video to uh, uh, just this duel here, as I will more than likely sacrifice a man-eater bug here to summon Twin-Headed Fire Dragon. So, hopefully on the uh, next installment here of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy, guys, I can finally I'll f try to finish off Chumley's fat ass on here and win the duel. So... With that being said, I'm the Wrestle Gamer, Double B, Billy Goudreau, saying thank you very much for watching.